Welcome to part 2. Let's keep building our text animation. Select the letter and add a simple deform modifier. Set it to bend and change the axis to Y. At frame 30, set the angle to 45 and keyframe it. At frame 15, change it to minus 45 and add a keyframe. Back at frame 0, set it to 45 again and add a keyframe. Now hit play, you will see the bending motion. To make the bounce smoother, add some extra frames like on frame 35, set angle to minus 22.5 and keyframe it. Then on frame 39, set angle to plus 11.25 and add a keyframe. Now on frame 42, set the angle to minus 5.6 and add a keyframe. Then finally, on frame 45, set the angle to 0 and add a keyframe. Now in graph editor, hide the object transform and adjust the new keyframes. Select the first 3 keyframes, press T and choose Beju. And fine tune the handle curves for smoother motion. Now decrease the scale of first keyframe, increase the scale of middle keyframe and rotate the third keyframe something like this. Next, let's add a twist. Add another simple deform modifier, set it to twist and change the axis to G. On frame 1, set the angle to 180 and add a keyframe. Then on frame 30, set the angle to 0 and add a keyframe. That's it for one letter. To apply the animation to the rest of the object, select all letters, select the animated one at last, press Ctrl L and choose link animation data. Then press Ctrl C and choose copy modifier to apply all deform effects. Now to offset the timing, go to the object, relation, make single user and choose object animation. Then move each letter's keyframe slightly forward in the timeline. Finally, adjust your camera, add lighting and apply your texture. That's it you're done. You have created a super stylish 3D text animation in Blender. Follow Art of V for more.